Hello YouTube, this is my NJ. Today I'll be showing you how to root the HTC Galaxy S3 from FastCardTech.com. I got this. This is the pro version. This is the 8.6 millimeter one-on-one uh, -on -one exact replica of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, today I've gotten a couple comments on uh, people asking me how to root this phone. Well, I managed. Uh, I found this. Uh, this uh, tool which is a one click tool and it's not super one click it's not that one it's a different one um, thanks to the uh, developers of uh, of the XDA members uh, they found a uh, way to root this phone uh, but it was actually meant for different phones but they actually used it um, you know, for many other uh, many other Android phones and it works very well okay the first thing you want to do is you want to go through settings okay so you go settings and you want to enable USB debugging so you go to developer oops not that so you go to developer and then you go turn on USB debugging okay and then you press OK the next thing you're gonna do is just download the drivers I'm gonna provide the link below uh, once you download the drivers, you also need to download another tool, which I'm also going to provide the uh, the link below. When you download the two files, you're going to see one of them is named HTC Galaxy S3 Pro Root Tool. The other one is going to be MTK6577 USB drivers. This is only sometimes uh, it installs them uh, by itself, uh, but sometimes it, it does not so in case I have Windows 7 and I had to install my drivers manually okay um, I won't be providing the details uh, actually I can't provide the details on how to install the drivers because I already did and it only lets me do it one time okay so once you uh, install the drivers now what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract the uh, the zip file for the HTC Galaxy S3 root tool okay so you're gonna extract it uh, here okay and now you're gonna see uh, three files came up one of them is called stuff the other one is gonna is gonna be run me and then run me dot sh okay now you're gonna need those three tools pretty soon now what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your uh, HTC Galaxy S3 to your computer okay so you're just gonna plug it in all right, and then make sure it is plugged into your computer. Once that happens, next thing you're going to do is uh, now you're going to come back to your computer and you're just going to click where it says um, "Run Me." Now you're going to go to where it says uh, you're going to select number one for normal, so you press one and then enter, and it's going to do its thing. okay so now once you see that now you're gonna come to your device and you're gonna click restore my data it's gonna this message is gonna prompt automatically okay now your phone is gonna reboot as you can see You just wait patiently okay so done it says um, the routing has been successfully done it says have fun and then press any key to continue that will actually close the um, the actual tool now we go back to the phone you just wait here once again, this this is actually a quick process. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, some people may have uh, questions on how to install the drivers, but it's really simple. You can also search here on YouTube. There's other videos on people showing you how to do it for the first time. Unfortunately, I can't do it, but usually once you plug in your phone, your computer recognizes it, I would say, 80% of the time. So if, if for any reason that tool doesn't do what it just did, then you have to install the drivers manually. Okay? So now we're going to see if we have super user. 
let's see there we go there we have it as you can see we have super user installed so that means uh, that the phone is rooted okay so that's is great now um, there's other videos I'm going to show you on how to do uh, other uh, updates to this phone because uh, even though it has the market app uh, sometimes when you after you log in and you put your email address and you do all that good stuff from uh, Gmail sometimes it doesn't sync well actually it will not sync um, your contact it's because you have to add the uh, Google contact sync app and it has to be put on the um, on the actual system you can uh, you know you can also install it but it's better if you put it on the actual system that way if somewhat in someday you uh, wipe your data it won't go away okay so I'm gonna show you that possibly in the next video uh, if not it's a very simple process you can do it with root explorer it's very simple so once you get that done um, it actually um, work just fine okay Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, all the files are going to be provided below. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, once again, feel free to ask me questions, and if I have time, and um, I'll answer them for you. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.